hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet achele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well as you can see we're fighting with this coconut right here <laughs> yes y'all so after cracking the coconut and getting out the coconut water we were able to break it and now i'm using a knife to safely pry the meat out of the shell now you can use any other tool of your choice but i've been doing this all my life so that is what i'm comfortable with but please do it the way you are most comfortable with then using a knife we're just going to scrape or cut the browner part of the meat or flesh of the coconut we just want the white because we want our milk to be as white as possible also just in case you decide to use the shaft to make coconut flour it'll be nice and beautifully white now i am able to use the knife this way but if you're uncomfortable with the knife this way please use a peeler just like this and your life will be much easier trust me the peeler works better but those of us africans that are used to using knife this way we find ourselves sitting there doing just that so as you can see the peeler did the work just beautifully so i'm just going to repeat the process until everything is done there you have it we are all done we're gonna get rid of this and quickly rinse the part that we want we'll then go ahead and cut it into smaller pieces to help our blender Now the ratio to making coconut milk is one to one. So if you're using one cup of shredded or chopped up coconut, then you're gonna use one cup of water. What I like to do is to add enough water to be at the same level with my coconut and that is it. I'll then blend it until it is nice and smooth and then I'll put it through a strainer before the cheese cloth or flour sack cloth or chiffon cloth. In case you're wondering why I didn't put it directly through my cheese cloth, that is because I don't have the strength to be squeezing stuff out. This right here makes my life easy. So if that way is easier for you, then please do just that, okay? And look at the shaft, so beautiful. At this point, I'll use my hands to squeeze out any excess milk. Now, if you're going to be using Using this for coconut flour then you're done but if not you may blend it one more time to get the most out next I'll line my strainer with my cheesecloth and pour in my milk now this makes my life easy I cannot say that enough I did not spend the whole day trying to squeeze milk out of this cheesecloth with a whole lot of shaft in here this is all that I have and I am done my milk is ready smooth silky and absolutely delicious moving on if you cannot come by matured coconut but were able to find shredded coconut just add it into your blender add some water to it allow it to sit for about five minutes go ahead and blend strain squeeze whichever way is easy for you you will have 
your coconut milk but please be sure it is unsweetened unless of course you're using it in a dessert and you want it to be sweet but remember even in a dessert your dessert may call for sugar so it is always best to use the sugar-free type and there you have that one as well for any recipe that you want to make our coconut rice a baby skit you name it it goes so well with it and do not forget to spread out your shaft overnight and by morning you would have your homemade coconut flour to use in any recipe of your choice thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all